Yo, what's going on? If you've got a website and you do not have this lovely connection is secure certificate, then you are probably losing out on a lot of customers who maybe don't want to enter their credit card details on your site because it's not secure, it's not safe. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to get a free SSL certificate, which is what this is. If you have an SSL certificate, it shows that the connection is secure on this particular web page. And if you're using Google Chrome, you will definitely see that. Let me show you the website we're going to be doing this on, jcmpire.com. As you can see, it says not secure. The connection to this site is not secure. And if I try to go to this particular site and I put HTTPS in front of it, it would show us an even worse message. This is what you see if someone types in HTTPS and your site is not secure. This is a terrible warning <laughs> for anyone to see. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add your own SSL certificate to your WordPress website for absolutely free. So let's get into it. First of all, if you're new here, let me quickly introduce myself. Don't worry, it will take less than a minute and I'm gonna get right into the video. I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing and online business. I've been able to grow my YouTube channel to over 35,000 subscribers, 400,000 views a month. And I've also been able to create a full-time income for myself so that I can do what I want for a living. I can create stuff. I'm a full-time online content creator and I want to share my experience and my knowledge with you so that if you want to do this, you can do it as well because I did it in a robe in my bedroom in poverty. So you can do it. There's no excuses. Let's get into setting this up. First of all, I did make a video on how to set up your web hosting, which will get you up and running with your domain and your web hosting. If you haven't watched that already, I highly suggest you go and check it out ASAP because that will really, really help you out. But if you want to skip that for some reason, then go to growonyoutube.com forward slash crystal to get set up with your hosting service and you'll basically be seeing the same thing that I'm going to show you over here. Now, this is crystal. To get to this page, you need to go to hosting and then you want to go to the web hosting that you're currently using, which is this one. I've already got a page that's opened that up. And then once you get to that page, you want to click this down here, which will log you in to cPanel. And once you do that, you'll be taken to the main cPanel page. I will be blocking or blurring the information on the right because I, I don't know, you know, hackers, isn't it? Hackers, I don't know what hackers are doing out there. I don't know exactly what I need to stop you hackers from seeing. <laughs> Basic. hopefully people who are watching this won't be trying to hack me because, you know, this is so, I'm, I'm helping people out, man. Don't be a hacker. So what we need to do now is we need to go to Let's Encrypt SSL. And this is under security. So let's go to that and let's encrypt SSL is basically what gives us that SSL, that free SSL certificate. So let's quickly refresh this page and see if it's gone. Na see, now this is what you was meant to see before. I might quickly fling this in the beginning of this video so that I don't look super stupid when I'm telling people this is what you're gonna see. This is what you see if someone types in HTTPS and your site is not secure. This is a terrible warning <laughs> for anyone to see. Like if someone isn't computer literate, they aren't good with computers and stuff and they see this, they're gonna be super scared. Like they, they will not wanna deal with your website. So you don't want this happening at any point in time. So if you don't have an SSL, then make sure you don't add this S on to the actual URL when you're typing that in or when you share it, but it's very easy to get a free SSL. So let me show you how to do that. So here we are in Let's Encrypt SSL. What we need to do right about now is just issue a new certificate. And it's very, very easy. All you need to do is scroll down on this page and you'll see all the domains that you currently have set up in Crystal with this hosting package. So as you can see, we've got JC Empire down here and I can issue this certificate and I can include different uh, versions of the site. We really only need jcempire.com and www.jcempire.com, but we'll have mail.jcempire.com as well, because why not? You want to choose the HTTP validation method, and then you want to issue. 
And once you click this, you will get your SSL Let's Encrypt certificate added to your website. And then you'll get that nice little padlock. And when people come to your website, they'll know that you're secure and ready for business. So as you can see, it says the SSL certificate is now installed installed onto the domain jcempire.com. And I'm going to have to blur that uh, IP address. But if we go back, we should see it up and running now. As you can see, it says it expires in June. I believe this, it's like a three month expiry period, but they, they automatically renew. That's how Let's Encrypt SSL uh, free certificates work. They expire every three months, but they automatically renew. So let's go to jcmpire.com and now we've got HTTPS. And look, look at that, beautiful. We're on jcmpire.com. We've got a nice, lovely padlock. And if we, if we slap that padlock, it's like your connection is secure, cuz. Don't worry about it. Enter your credit card all over this site. It is great stuff. So that is how you add your free SSL certificate to your WordPress site. It's really easy, really, really straightforward. If you're using Crystal, I highly suggest using Crystal. Go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Crystal to go through there and, you know, purchase Crystal and set up your hosting and all that sort of stuff. It's what I use. I love it. The customer service is great. And yeah, it, it just works. And all my tutorials are gonna be based around Crystal. So if you want my tutorials to help you specifically, then sign up to Crystal is a great thing to do. Also, you probably want to set up a redirect as well when you set up your certificate. Now, the reason why you'd want to do this is because if you, if someone comes to your website and they do not type in HTTPS, they will not go to the secure version of your website. So for example, I could go to jcempire.com right about now. And it's gonna take me to the version of my website, which is not secure. As you can see, it says not secure up here, which again is not great to new customers and all that sort of stuff. And in order to make sure that anytime someone types in your website, it goes to the secure page, which is what you want. You need to come to redirects in Crystal. I'll quickly show you how to get here. So we're still in the same hosting from before. And then we just want to scroll down and go to redirects. It's under domains. And when you go to that, it will take us to this page. And now you want to select permanent 301 redirect. You select the correct domain that you want to use. And then you just enter the domain with HTTPS there as well. And then I will redirect with or without www. And now we can add that and that should work perfectly fine. Now we can test it on this incognito window. We should probably give it like 10 minutes or something, but let's hope for the best. Let's, let's hope we'll do a quick refresh and Bob's your uncle. Lovely. Didn't even have to wait one minute. So I highly suggest you do that so that you are always using your free SSL certificate and it always says that you're secure. Connection is secure, B. That is the video. Question of the day is, do you have a website? And if you do, what do you put on your website? What is the main feature of your website? Is it your blog? Is it, you know, I don't know, videos? Do you have a contact form that you use your website for the most. What are you using your website for the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions about, you know, setting up your website or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'm gonna continue with this series showing you how to set up your WordPress website and get everything that you need up and running so that you can run your online business. I'll see you in the next video where you'll be learning more about YouTube marketing and online business. And remember, free course over there, grab that ASAP. I'll see you in the next video.